but the Notre Dame Fighting Irish having already knocked out Georgia Tech, advancing to take on Louisville. There's Jordan War. Mooney, and very similar to the shot yesterday. Miraculous run in this ACC tournament there. Season will come Woo. to an end when the tournament does, and Jordan Wara has designs on making that tonight. Wara might as well. And why Woo. not? Perry coming back for Louisville. Notre Dame has now missed its last five. Perry off the bench and into the scorebook, and that'll get a quick timeout for the Irish. Very athletic. Been looking to find himself. Notre Dame didn't find him, and then they <laughs> paid for it. Perry feeling a little bit. Oh, he knocked with a follow for him help. And when he does, the opposite big should just run right to the front of the line, to the front of the rim and finish. Wow, what a powerful finish by Stephen Enoch. Down in a stance, tried to will that three <laughs> ball in. Wara. And there's the putback. Offense has been a little stagnant as of late. Hub gets in the lane, and Durham with the follow. We had ace of 10 inch advantage in height. Hub can't get it going. How about Durham and then VJ King? An excellent defensive play in the block. Just get either one to go, so they'll start again. And whoa, that'll go. Durham makes a business decision not to jump. And look at that finish right there. Jordan Moore dominated the first half. Off to a brilliant start here in the second. Off the bounce and look to attack. Wara over the top. It's a little long now. Sutton, that might get him going. <laughs> <laughs> he could fill it up. T.J. Gibbs has scored tonight. He has now 16 for Notre Dame. That's 10 from the field after starting two for two early on. Ryan McMahon with a long three, and the lead balloons out to 16. And look, they're just down 14. It feels like they're down a lot. Now it feels like they're down two more because Enoch has his third dunk of the night. A nice job of sealing them inside. Mike Bray just had a quick conversation <laughs> with John Mooney, who had his back turned and didn't see yet another three ball. Mooney rolling to the basket, and it was rejected by Malik Williams. Reese, that's a microcosm of what it's been like for John Mooney. Notre Dame never really got back in it, and the season will come to an end as the clock strikes zero, and Chris Mack and Louisville, they move on.